Hello everybody and welcome back to Zombie Army 4. In this video we're starting a new mission, Hellbase. We are on chapter 1, not in Kansas anymore. And this chapter's challenge requires us to get to the safe room in under 15 minutes. And I gotta say, this challenge is extremely difficult. And the uh, main reason why is because in previous videos when we had a challenge that had a time limit, we were able to run past zombies and bypass areas in order to get through a lot faster. That's not the case in this chapter. In this chapter, it's almost like it's broken up into different sections. And we get the gray fog that confines us to the area. There's the blood seals on the uh, doors that confine us to an area. There's even a blood fountain in this chapter that confines us to an area. And all those require you to kill all the zombies in order to progress and the blood fountain in this chapter is the biggest time waster ever because we don't get a horde like we have with the previous blood fountains we get a bunch of slow moving zombies that spawn in halfway down a path and they take their sweet time walking into that red circle so we waste a lot of time on that blood fountain area we uh, also have a heroic action to complete as well as getting our four usual collectibles. I will uh, do my best to call them out, but uh, I can't make any promises. We are going to be moving pretty fast, so just uh, watch very closely. Now on to setup. I have uh, switched back to the uh, MP44 for this chapter. The drilling just reloads way too slow, but if you uh, have a fully upgraded trench gun, that might also be useful as well. It's personal preference. Uh, melee, I'm using Divine Blast for a little extra healing on the move. And for perks, I've got extra health, enhanced stamina, because we're gonna need all the stamina we can get to run through this chapter. Uh, Paper Trail, because it further increases stamina recovery. And it also gives that property indicator for the document. I'm also going to be running back catalog and exterminator for those same proximity indicators. That way we can get the collectibles on the move. So now that all that's out of the way, wish me luck and I will see you in game. Okay, so now that we're here in our not-so-safe room, uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, track the challenge so we can keep track of the time here. Uh, pro tip, uh, notice the uh, timer is not ticking down while I'm standing here in the safe room. But if for some reason you guys playing the, through this chapter, if uh, you die or you feel like you didn't get far enough fast enough, don't restart from checkpoint don't restart from safe room otherwise your timer will start ticking from this point right here in the safe room and that wastes precious seconds uh, so just back out to the main menu and restart the uh, game what all right happened? so from here we are going to get our items right. i'm gonna grab the grenades we don't have time to plant mines and our med kits are actually uh, down here at the bottom toward the exit of the safe room. Now, once we exit the safe room here, we're going to have two blind screamers that we have to kill as fast as possible. We don't have time to wait for them to move around and show us their backs. We just have to work with what we've got. So we're going to go ahead and get this started and hope we uh, get this done. Ah, what? Wherever we are. This one's got his back to me. In Italy. I'm going to get a few uh It's calling for backup. Okay, I got stunned. That's 
one down. That's, enough That's two you. down. We're just going to reload while we run toward our mission icon. Now we gotta kill these guys. Now this is our first area. You can already see the uh, gray fog that confines us in. Go ahead and toss a grenade over here. We're good to move through now. Now this is the uh, blood fountain area. Once you get here, we're gonna have a heavy gunner on our right and on our left. We just wanna quickly take care of them and get the blood fountain started. The then we wanna run over here to our left hand side, open this crate and grab some bait grenades. We also have time to uh, refill our ammo and reload our guns. Just gonna take a couple shots here. Now I'm gonna throw a bait grenade in the center circle since they're spawning over here to the right. And I wanna group everything around the uh, red circle of the blood fountain. This guy's kind of glitching, but he's moving now. So I'm just gonna let him get in here and then we can start using the uh, gun turret to quickly take them out. Now you can probably see what I'm talking about, how slow these zombies move and how far down the uh, path they actually are. All right, I already saw the creepers turn their attention to me, which means the bait grenade is done. So I'm just gonna move down here to the uh, red circle and keep them focused on me rather than heading off to the right and trying to get me off the gun turret. Dude, this should have been done like 20 seconds ago. Alright, now that the uh, blood fountain is done, we kind of want to stick around in this area for a little bit. I'm actually going to run up here to this turret. And we're going to use it to kill the rest of these zombies otherwise they will follow us into the next area and we'll have to kill them anyway so this saves us a little bit of time 
Then we're gonna restock on ammo. And make sure you have your uh, sniper rifle out and it's reloaded. Because once you enter this area, this guy yelling for help, that's our heroic action. We just want to shoot this uh, explosive barrel and we're going to move down this path. About halfway down, once we get to this so truck, we're going to get snipers that spawn in. And we want to kill these guys as fast as possible. So we can go deal with the uh, horde of creepers that just uh, closed the gap on me. Where's that sniper? I guess he's gone. There you can see our heroic action just pops. And now that the creepers are dealt with, the blood seal will go away and we can move forward. So, this is really it, huh? It's just like Doc Schweiger Now we just want to hook it left Wait, and come through this door. Doc was here too. And then we want to come over here to this uh, ramp. We're gonna run up here and get our comic. Now we're gonna turn around and run back down this ramp and head to this closed door over here and get it open. And then we want to run down these stairs and make a hard left into this room. We want to reload our weapons and hit this switch. Because once this uh, gate opens, we're going to get a whole horde of zombies, including snipers and a uh, flamethrower heavy. We just want to kill these guys real quick, kind of cover our backfield, and then we want to go deal with these snipers as fast as possible. You can already see the uh, flamethrower guy coming in. It's not exactly uh, safe to go out there and do a takedown on him. He's down. Now we want to run out here and get his flamethrower. And start smoking these zombies. We also have one more sniper to deal with. Just hold down the trigger and keep pushing forward. You already see we got our zombie hand over here off to the uh, right hand side. I'm low on ammo. We're gonna go ahead and get him real quick. Want to take this guy down. kill the resurrected guys and now we're gonna move down here and we're going to get our document if it gives me the prompts all right now we want to run over here and we want to reload and we want to come over here and hit the switch once the door opens we need to run down these stairs and take this uh, right path around the corner. We're in hell, all right. Open the door. Run in here, grab the upgrade kit. Run back out. That's not the way out. It's this door. And now we want to head toward our mission icon. Please, Doc. We did. Bolt cutters, huh? 
Because once we get inside of here, we've got the uh, water walking to do that slows us down even more. Alright, now that we're down here, we can move up here and open up these crates because we want to start placing traps as soon as possible. In the flesh. Now, can you open the door? And now we realize Swagger is a jerk who won't open the door so we can finish this out. Instead, he is uh, going to make us fight a horde. Right, I'm gonna let him get started while I finish planning my mines. And then we move up here and help him defend. Because we're right here by the uh, ammo crate. When he says here comes more of them, we got green guys coming on the left and right sides. We want to get rid of them so they don't hit us with the goot. that. Guess we missed one. Need that. Refill on ammo. Now we've got armored giants coming in. All right, so at this point in time, I want to throw the bait grenade right down here directly to my front. Grab these rest of these grenades. Keep killing. And now I'm going to throw everything I got down here. And we want to focus on the uh, armored giants as well. There's always one straggler. All right, now he's going to open the safe room. He takes at least five, ten seconds to open up this safe room, so make sure you have that available on the clock. And there you have it. We have done it. 
Okay, that was extremely stressful. But uh, as you can see, we got all the collectibles and we completed the challenge just barely. I will hope this helps you guys out. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.